the Comedy Store, Laugh Factory, and the Hollywood Improv are a few of the iconic comedy clubs here in Los Angeles. So many legendary comedians over the years have taken these stages and made their marks in the comedy world. I've always wanted to try stand-up comedy, so I thought I'd give it a shot by doing my first ever open mic night. Pandemic. Okay. It's okay. We got this. So instead, I set up a comedy club in my apartment and joined a virtual open mic to test some material that I've been working on. Hi everyone, I'm, I'm Rob. Uh, you know, why is everyone complaining about wearing face masks these days? You know, no one complains on Halloween. <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh, um, oh yeah, uh, so I think someone dropped out. Um, I did not get the results I was hoping for. I want to learn how to get better. So I got together with Paul Douglas Moonjean, who runs the education program at Flappers Comedy Club in Burbank, California. I'm hoping that he can teach me how to write better jokes. Our philosophy, and I think most comedians' philosophies are, you write from a place of truth. You know, what's weird in your life? What's annoying in your life? What's frustrating in your life? What's hard? <laughs> Off the top of my head, everything you just said, COVID. So what has been the most frustrating part of COVID-19 for you personally? A, a lot of things. I, I actually had a, a thought, it's like, there are some like comparisons that I can draw to being trapped at a theme park, like Disneyland. Right, but it's not because Disneyland's big and wide open. Yeah. So we want to invert that. Okay. Right, so it's like Disneyland, but. Can you actually write like the elements of yes. the joke on the board? Because you have a whiteboard here. We have a we whiteboard. We got to use it. Right. So you have your topic. Okay. Plus your attitude. That's gonna equal your point of view. This is the key part, is the because. COVID-19 is hard because I'm stuck in quarantine. The punchline is the twist or the turn, which then creates the release so the audience can laugh. Can I actually get up on stage here and, and try this and have you coach me a little bit? Yeah, let's do it right now. All right. So being, uh, nope. <clears throat> Uh, living in COVID times is like being trapped at Disneyland. First off, you have you need an attitude. Okay. So COVID-19 in quarantine is weird because it's like being at Disneyland. Okay. Couples fighting, loud noises, fireworks in the background. Yeah. Right? And of course there's me eating a churro, but I get to do it naked now. Yeah. See? That's, that would be called a rule of threes. Okay. All right? So try that. Just play with that a okay. little bit. So living in the world of COVID is weird because it's like I'm stuck at Disneyland. There are couples fighting, there are fireworks every night, I'm eating corn dogs, naked. <laughs> Paul was a great teacher. He took out a lot of the guesswork and made joke writing really easy to understand. I feel really confident in my new abilities. This was a lot of fun. Thank you so much for teaching me. I, am I ready? Do I have what it takes? I think everybody has what it takes <laughs> to do this. Safe answer. <laughs> do you do you have an idea what you plan on doing? Yeah, I'm gonna go and take what you taught me and write some more material and then go test it in front of an audience. You do know that the clubs are closed right now. Actually, I have an idea. Living in the world of COVID is weird because it's kind of like being stuck at Disneyland. My studio apartment has become like my haunted mansion where I'm visited by my demons each night. And sometimes I have to be like, okay, is this room actually stretching? Or is it my imagination? Well, well, no, it's neither. I accidentally mixed my Xanax with tequila. That's all I got. Thank you so much. I'm Rob Polanski. Have a great night, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Rob Polanski. Have a great night. Thank you. Stand-up comedy is hard, and I've nearly just scratched the surface. Stand-up comedians spend years writing, testing, and performing material to get it right. And that's just not something my ADHD brain will allow me to do right now. So until then, it's on to the next thing. But I have a feeling I'll be continuing my stand-up comedy journey again soon. I mean, after all, I'm one funny guy. <laughs> <clears throat> Get them next time.